said, hi, my name is Hui Swan and I'm all ready to start this evening's talk, uh, which is going to dwell on the three secrets to losing, losing stubborn tummy fat without starving or strenuous exercise. And I want to welcome all our guests who are here tonight and those who will be watching the replay later. So I'm going to go right into sharing my story because you'll be listening to me for the next 40 minutes. So I should tell you who I am. Well, I will be 60 this, this month. And uh, this is me when I was uh, far younger. And I've always been uh, quite slim. And for my height, I really look pretty good. Except that once I've given birth in my 30s, uh, I seem to not be able to lose the weight that I put on during pregnancy. And what's more, I started piling on weight, especially in my 40s. And when I got to mid and late 40s, it was quite horrendous uh, with arms and my legs, uh, even, you know, putting on quite a bit and cellulite and so forth. Lah, you know the problem. So I went to search for weight loss solution. I think like many, many people, um, we start to like, you know, grasp at things and there's so many choices. So I said, eating less, not eating at all, surely will lose weight, right? So I did that, but as soon as I stopped fasting, the weight came back. Massage is just one of those mysterious things, I don't know. We always think massage can help us to move our fat away, but it didn't happen. And at the massage parlor, they introduced hot wraps, cold wraps, all sorts of creams, uh, which didn't really help to melt away the fats, you know, as promised. Fat freezing was an interesting solution. I bought it because of advertisement. How many people here have seen advertisement and gone like, that looks good. Well, I was one of them, went to an aesthetic doctor, discovered though that fat freezing is hell of expensive <laughs> and time consuming and it's not sustainable. You know, they didn't even have a proper measurement of the fat percentage at the start. And then I'm thinking, how are they going to know whether I've lost any fat or not if they didn't even measure? So I stopped after one treatment, not least because I really didn't think I would want to spend six to seven thousand dollars on this detox. Detox diet is very, very common. You know, people say eat clean, train mean, and you'll be lean, right? Easier said than done. But detox diets are also um hard are hard to keep up with, isn't it? Then some of us go for acupuncture. I went for something called carboxy therapy, which I think now is probably you know, no longer really very popular. It is injecting carbon dioxide at high pressure into the layers of the fat, you know, and uh, supposed to blast the fat cells dead. <laughs> but very painful and uh, didn't really, really help me to lose weight. Although, you know, it just felt like the stomach is like a bit firmer, lah, but didn't really make me lose weight. Keto diet was my uh, longest run. Uh, my 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 firm theory, my firm belief, uh, not theory, uh, is that it is something that cannot be kept uh, on for too long a time because I did that and I started to lose weight, I got leg cramps, I got constipation. And if you think about it, it is not an extremely healthy diet, right? Because you are not even allowed to eat fruits. Can you imagine a life without food? The only food you are allowed to eat was like avocado or something. And vegetables very selected as well because if the vegetables are too starchy or too sugary, um, then you know uh, we cannot. So it's a very very restrictive diet. Plus, the high saturated fat content of the diet is very scary, and it could lead to um, you know cholesterol levels going up and so on. And slimming centers was actually my last stop. Again, lured by ads. I mean, how many people have gone into slimming centers and come out with a wallet a lot lighter, right? And a credit card, like, wow, depleted of limit. Yeah. So, a good thing is a friend warned me about this. I was attracted to the Slimming Center because I was looking for something systematic. Somebody who will be at my back and track me. Right. So, thankfully, I found something that is like that, but not, that will not uh, uh, be thousands, tens of thousands of dollars. Okay. So, so in 2006, I went on the right approach to weight management. I think, Jimmy, you've heard about this before. So, you know, so I lost about 10 kg and the good thing is I kept it off, kept it off largely, lah, huh? not as skinny as that time. Uh, because sometimes, you know, when you grow older, you also put on more fat and more weight. But the great thing about this method of weight loss is that, you know, it very much uh, gives you um, empowerment. You know what to do with your lifestyle, you know what to do with your diet, so you can keep uh, your weight off. So, of course, when once the weight is off, you know, you look a lot better in clothes next to my son. People say, oh, you look like he's 
you know, uh, sister, best friend, whatever lah, very kind friends lah, say such things, and then you can wear fancy dresses to parties uh, uh, and look good, yeah. So, uh, what was very, very uh, gratifying was that I got um, fit, fitter, okay. Uh, the weight loss led to me becoming more active, so I was, a I was able to then do more exercise until I can climb mountains, uh, uh, and this is me with my son at in Scotland, and then uh, this is me in China, this is 215, my very first mountain at 5,000 meters, and uh, this is the highest mountain in Africa called the Kilimanjaro at 5,895, this is uh, Jade Mountain in Taiwan, highest in Taiwan, this is the largest cave in the world, so you know, being uh, lighter, fitter, uh, enables, uh, enabled me, right, to go on these adventures which I had honestly never imagined of ever achieving when I was much younger. This is the highest mountain in Europe called Mount Elbrus, situated in Russia. So when we try to lose stubborn tummy fat, okay, the common struggles, if I may recap, right, are cookie cutter meals that don't work, too much restriction on food, like fasting, right, hectic work schedule, Exercising too much is just too demanding for us. No motivation. Yes, we lose it after like two weeks now sometimes. Always feeling hungry on diet is not fun. Snacking too much as a result. Then there are so many diet plans out there, right? Like I said just now, oh no, a paleo, keto, Atkins. So what do we choose and what is healthy? There are, then some of us have medical or injuries, medical issues or injury, and we, don't, we simply don't know where to start and what to do. So if you want to get past all these struggles you know, to achieve uh, a healthy body uh, and of to achieve your fitness goals also. Uh, here uh, are three secrets of getting rid of tummy fat with, uh, by losing. This one. Yeah? This one. So, sorry to interrupt. Uh. Lena says that she cannot hear you very clearly. So she oh. asks if you speak up. But you're okay. quite clear to me. But anyway. Oh, yeah. Okay, I will. Uh, is this better? Is this better? Uh, three secrets of getting rid of tummy fat by losing weight and shaping your body. Okay, uh, secret number one, weight loss is not the same as fat loss. So let me just go through the basic science of weight loss, right? So very simply, you know, you lose weight when calories in is less than calories out. And calories in would be your food and drinks, calories out would be your exercise and your basal metabolic weight. Okay, so if you are over 35, if you are largely sedentary, largely sedentary would mean like, you're not like Jeff Sang, la, <laughs> who runs a lot, who pedals, uh, who goes to the gym. Most of us are not like that. Yeah? So if you are sedentary, then here's what you need to note. Uh, you have to battle, of course, with the shrinking uh, metabolism. Uh, you're probably not super into exercise and it's hard to get into it. And, uh, we're const and you're constantly, you know, surrounded by food and drinks. But take heart, take heart, okay? I'm not here to discourage you. We will provide the secrets, right? So if you are such a person, just know that you cannot run away from fixing your diet. Because 60% of weight loss actually depends on what you put into your mouth, okay? But the good news is you can put good stuff into your mouth, okay? So just hang on a sec, right? And 30% depends on your basal metabolism, which can be tweaked by the right exercise and of course eating the right foods as well. So you can see these three things are integrated. And you know, in the past, if you've gone on other weight loss program and it, either it rebounded or you did not succeed, it could be that it was not taking care of these three very important pillars. Yeah. So anything that takes care of these three things uh, will really, really help you. So proper weight management is about losing fats and shaping lean muscle. In the traditional diet, what happens is you eat less right, of everything, right? So you end up not just losing weight, but you end up losing muscle. And that is bad news because your metabolic weight actually goes down when you lose muscle. The right approach should be you maintain more lean muscle, but you lose fat. Because in that way, your metabolism can go up. Okay, so this is Chris Chu. And in this picture, both pictures, his weight, his weight is 68 kg. But 
you can see right second picture he's so much leaner so the first secret is weight loss is not the same as fat loss because in the first picture chris is 17 percent body fat second picture 10 percent body fat okay so over here we always say we don't just ask for people like hey have you lost weight have you lost weight we want to know did your body fat come down as well because loss of weight could be loss of water loss of muscle and that's not ideal right that's not that's not going to be so sustainable so at the end of the 90 day program look at chris chu he is very very lean right so different from when he first started yeah so you look at these two uh, this picture here a uh, fat five pounds muscle five pounds you can see right that fat actually occupies a lot more space right and muscle is actually heavier so that's why sometimes when we we, we so-called don't put don't lose weight or even put on a little bit of weight we, we don't get so excited we look at the body composition if the weight gain is because of muscle gain then we are like cool you know and you will know because if you start to feel like your clothes fit better it's likely that you've lost body fat sometimes women right especially right do you hear this very often hey i haven't put on any weight but how come my clothes feel so like tight and then like you know don't fit so well right so it's likely that the body fat percentage has increased so you see right which shape would you rather be uh, obviously the one on the right uh, is same weight you know but body shape is so different therefore body composition analysis is very very important if you haven't done one please go ask your friend to do it for you okay so again you look at ladies right when to reduce body fat only our body shape looks a lot a lot better yeah yeah this is joe you know he is an athlete ex-national rugby player in fact what's a man like him doing on a weight loss program nah he's on a tummy fat body fat loss quest lost 6.4 kg of which 5.2 is fat and then he lost a lot of visceral fat uh, or fat that surrounds the organ you know come sometimes we loosely call it tummy fat that that one we all know yeah the first place we always feel is ado our tummy okay so he lost quite a bit of visceral fat as well harold lost all uh, 7 kg all 7 kg was actually fat um this is gail gail is an athlete you know um her body her body fat right is actually not very very high at all you know body fat is only 23.7 percent <laughs> uh, most of us ladies who past the age of 50 i will know that our body fat is usually like over 30 percent so you know she went on to lose body fat 4.9 percent until becoming 18.8 percent so uh, uh, someone like Gail, so, so this is to debunk the myth that people come in uh, who to do weight loss are, are the very, very fat people. Not true. Uh, actually, a lot of people come in to lose body fat and shape up and increase muscle. And she increased her muscle definitely uh, plus 1.9% when she's already very good at 29.3%, you know. Uh, ideal for ladies is 28%. Gail was 29.5% muscle. And this is the result. This is what she looks like. Uh, she looked like after the program. And Jeff and I know Gail personally. I tell you, she looks like leaner than this. And I think Gail is probably pushing 30 by now. But, you know, uh, does ultra, ultra endurance sports and all that. So that's secret number one. Okay, weight loss is not the same as fat loss. And we are after fat loss. The secret number two is best secret and people don't believe us when we say this there's no need to exercise furiously to lose weight i'm not saying don't exercise i'm saying that exercise is overrated and overrating the effectiveness of exercise in helping us to lose weight can be dangerous right because we think we eat eat eat, eat today tomorrow go and do a lot of exercise can already but the fact is if you ate a plate of chak kway tiao you probably would take quite a lot of running definitely more than an hour or so right to get rid of the chakwetiao and the chakwetiao won't be the only thing you'll be eating that day right so exercise is actually a complementary thing okay i'll elaborate so this james uh, here is a very good example 
In this picture, right, age 52, underneath a shirt, underneath a shirt, you won't think he's too bad. But this is the body uh, of someone who's exercising two hours a day. And he doesn't like his love handles at all. So, uh, try as he might, he could not lose it. But after the fat loss program, this is what James did like. If you compare his picture with his 22-year-old self in that 52-year-old picture frame, right? He actually has a lot less fat than he had when he was 22. Is this sustainable? Main thing, right? Look at him a year later, 7 years later, 14 years later. So James is what, huh? 68 this year, right? He still looks like this, okay? So... We call it age lock, yeah. So he, he in the same swimming trunk, right? You can see his body composition over the years, older yet leaner, yeah. And his body age at sixty six in that picture is younger than the age of his swimming trunks. Okay. So what about really really obese people? Yeah, definitely can help. Madam Zulai House hundred kg. Tried so many programs, didn't work, went on this program. Wow, over some years, lah, huh? not immediately, right? No, no, not just three months. Uh. She lost 32.7 kg. Right. Uh, quite, quite substantially, you know, uh, every time uh, and uh, very steadily. But the best part is she lost visceral fat as well. This is very important. Visceral fat is the fat that causes a lot of nasty problems like type 2 diabetes. Uh, it uh, increases your uh, propensity to things like stroke, uh, heart disease, okay? So she lost quite a bit of visceral fat. And this is a picture of Madam Zulaiha from 2012 up to 2019. From 100 kg to 58.6 kg. Yeah. So, and of course, she looks like very, very different. A lot younger and definitely a lot fitter able to actually keep up with physical activities with her growing children. Richard, she's 34 years old. My goodness me, if I didn't tell you, you'd think he's like 45 or something. He looks so old. That's because his body age is very, very high. And he's very unfit and puffs and pens when he has to bend down to, to look at cars, you know, because he's a car workshop owner. Minus 45 kg, our friend looks whoa like a korean film star uh look at his skin right it even looks so much better but here's what he said doesn't snore at night anymore he probably was on his way to getting sleep at near you know where you kind of like stop breathing at big you know at, at intervals that's very dangerous eczema went away he's better shape he's got six packs okay so we're not saying don't exercise. We're saying you don't need to go furiously go to the gym and all that, right? If you can do activities throughout the day, right, to help you expand energy. So this is called non-exercise activity thermogenesis. The energy expanded for all that we do, excluding sleeping, eating or sports, right? Like we're walking, we're typing, we're doing housework, Right, so like now I talk, uh, I so fidget a lot, so that actually helps to burn calories, right? So yeah, just get into action around the house, sweep, mop, vacuum, clean, a scrub, iron clothes. Okay, so this is Susan. Susan, uh, I tell you, when I first saw her, uh, I said, oh gosh, if this woman can lose weight, uh, she will be a really, really stunning testimonial, and she did. Okay, and what I didn't know then was that Susan was not only uh, overweight, she had a, a very severe health problem. She had osteoarthritis uh, and her weight didn't help of course. And she was uh, unable to move around very much. You know, using a walking stick, using knee braces, 8kg stator, this is what Susan looked like. 2019 November, she went on what a 5km run or something. Last year, she went hiking and everything, and oh, this morning, she and I were just paddling in the sea together, stand up paddling, you know, she was able to stand on the board and like, I think really, really, if you're looking for a new lease of life, <laughs> she is one 
a very big inspiration. You know, every time I look at her, I marvel. Yeah, I didn't know she was so bad before. But uh, uh, here's the thing. Uh, people think that weight loss is just about being lighter. And then they think that, okay, it's actually less pressure on the knees. But actually, when you lose fat, your body is a lot less inflamed. So if you have all these diseases, even uh, um, things like osteoarthritis and all that, uh, losing weight, losing fat in particular will be really, really help. This is Oliver with a split disc, cannot exercise, still can lose weight and fat and keep it off very, very, very well. Now, your coach will work with you on what exercise is suitable, but for a start, if you are not too active, we'd always just recommend something gentle, like walking 30 minutes three times a week. And you'll be surprised what that can do for you together with the right way of eating. Okay, so, but if you're a lot fitter and more active, you can go for high intensity interval exercise, which is time efficient. It takes 10 to 20 minutes, short bursts, high effort, or do what we do. Some of us go walking long distance, go staircase, low intensity, but steady state kind of cardio, you know, so more consistent effort. And we just take a bit longer, but it's less stressful on the knees and, and all that, right? And of course, the heart. Lah. If you're not used to running so hard, then you know, you've got to be panting away. Number three secret is we don't lose weight by eating less, but by eating more. <laughs> this is so nice, right? So before you run off and go and eat your supper at this hour, <laughs> let me elaborate on what we mean by this. So we first of all, we are not telling you to diet. Dieting is not good. Dieting lowers your energy, upsets your mood, it reduces your willpower and it in induces cravings. And what is worse is that we always, you know, uh, lose weight during a diet because we lose muscle you know lose weight by losing muscle is not a good idea so you lose you put on you lose you put on and eventually you end up with more weight than when you first started not nah, this is not what we want so the problems with dieting really you need to look at this diet okay this plan here so we eat starchy foods which are carbo we need that then there's protein and there's fat so usually when we diet let's say you want to reduce from 2000 to 1002 we just simply eat less of everything, right? But the problem with this way of dieting is that you reduce your fat storing food, which is your starch, but you also reduce your fat burning food, which is your protein. So how shall we adjust? How should we adjust our eating? Do this way and we will help you with this. This is the right approach to eating and that is reduce your calories by reducing starch, and reducing fats, but you do an optimal amount of protein and fiber, okay? Because protein is your fat-burning food. You want to increase your fat-burning food. Brian, mm, okay, it's not like he's very obviously fat like in the first photo, but you can see there's more muscle definition in the after picture and definitely the stomach is smaller. He's a gym rat, he goes to the gym all the time, but still cannot lose fat. But with the right approach to eating, he managed to lose fat. And that's why he looked like this. So we say, we provide a solution for you to eat to lose weight. And this way of eating is well balanced. It gives you a wide variety of foods to choose from. You are eating the right quality and right quantity. And this will stay with you for life. And 3333 eating rule uh, is a very, very good guide. Okay, uh, And your coach will work with you to... to um, how do I say, customize this rule for your uh, eating pattern and of course your lifestyle. And what do we mean by 3333? Three, three, three? Uh, we recommend eating three portions of fruit, three portions of veggie, three portions of protein, and three portions of carbo a day. Okay, yeah. So if you look at that, really, really, that is a balanced meal for a day. So look at this bowl full of color, full of different kinds of protein and veggies and grains. And this is a selection from some of our students who have been on the program. And there's no way this plate look like the plate of someone who's starving, right? So when we say eat to lose weight, we mean eat like this. Lots of green veggies, good size you know, feast, you know, feast chunks of protein which includes non-meat protein like tofu uh, or you know seafood or uh, meat. 
if you go to the, a restaurant with our guide, our plan, right, you can look at the menu and there will be just no problem choosing from the food, okay? Yeah, um, you, you don't need to end your social life when you are on this program and you can still eat with your friends, definitely. Ruth, um, a missionary, uh, in three months, lost 13.2 kg, of which uh, 10 kg is fat, looks way younger after the program. And she tells me uh, that during the three months, she actually was not able to exercise much because she was so busy um, with her work. Oh, if you are thinking of losing weight, uh, grab a good friend, grab your spouse, grab your partner, because then you will be like Isaac and Sarah. Um, they lost weight together. Uh, Isaac kind of like almost no choice because he fainted in the toilet. Uh. Doctor told him, you better do something about your weight. And uh, his wife said, I'll support you. Anyway, I also need it, you know. You look at her, right? So this two now, very active. Go hiking, climbing stairs. They, they take part in uh, those uh, vertical marathon and stuff like that, okay? So we will give you a guide that, you know, tells you what food you can eat uh, quite liberally, what foods to eat in moderation and what foods to avoid. And this is just an example of someone who's so intended that he lost 15 kg and he's kept it off. This is Ben who worked in Jurong Island and down there got no healthy food, so he brought a thing cut. Uh, fruit, veggie, protein, carbs. You know, he ate half of it for breakfast and half of it for lunch. Yeah. Yep. And these are just other samples. So we would ask you to use a plate so that you can put your food, then you can see how much you're actually eating. Yeah, because of Chinese way of eating, right? Where you just, you know, take a little bit of food, then eat with your rice, take a little bit more of food, eat with the rice. You can't tell how much protein you've eaten. I can tell you that tonight for dinner, I under ate protein for sure. Yeah, so this is what happens when, you know, you don't measure things and put on the plate. But because I'm aware, uh, I topped it up with, you know, nice Greek yogurt at the end as a dessert rather than ice cream or cakes. So then I became okay for protein. So, you know, you learn to make adjustments like this and it's wonderful, right? So this is three kinds of protein here, right? Two non-meat, one meat protein. Bonus secret is you're not doomed to be fat. Even if you are quite advanced in years, okay, you know, and you think that you've got lower metabolism and muscle mass, doesn't mean you, you, you're doomed. Your parents' family are fat, doesn't mean you have to be fat. And it is because we... Um, of epigenetics. This science says that the choices you make can actually change the way your genes are expressed. And, and part of the way you change the way genes are expressed is through eating. Right? If you look at the bees in the hive, there's the worker, the drone, and the mature queen. Genetically, they are identical, right? But the queen bee is so fertile, she lays 2,000 eggs a day, right? Three to five times larger than the worker and the lifespan is 20 times longer. How come the gene expression is so different? It all lies in what the queen bee eats, which is royal jelly. So therefore, even twins, right? You think, ah, the genes are the same. Right? There's no way they look so different. But of course not. If you eat differently, um, quality and quantity, it will still um, affect your gene expression. And the fat one will probably stay fat. For quite some time yeah so not all programs are created equal like i said just now if you could have our, uh, a program that has supplements uh, an eating plan and an exercise all brought together by coaching someone to be accountable to if things work you can go to this person and say hey this is what's happening and you can know what is actually working if it's not working we start to tweak the plan for you as the days go by, right? So that you will not end up 90 days, no results. 90 days is a very, very good length of time to, to start. So, you know, um, a lot of us say we want to go on weight loss, but there's no start and there's no finish. This one, you mentally tell yourself, today I start, three months later, three months later is the finish date. And within these 90 days, you set goals. You set goals not just to lose the weight, but to lose the fat and to put in new habits of eating and exercise. 
that will stand you in good state in the long haul. Does that sound like a good deal? And it's very logical, right? Yeah, um, the, the slimming centers will not do that because they want you to be hooked to them for life. <laughs> but our aim is to really graduate people to be able to take care of eating and exercise themselves for the rest of their lives. If they choose to continue with our supplements, it is normally only uh, the multivitamins. They do not go on the uh, fat burning, the weight loss supplements for a long, long time. No, not at all. Okay. So uh, in the 90 days, we will help you to build muscle, burn fat and stop cravings, especially using the, our special uh, supplements that are formulated using uh, epigenetic signs. Okay. So we will help you to target um, and reset gene clusters for fat metabolism, lean muscle and appetite control. Is this safe? Well, it's listed on the physician's desk reference, which is the Bible for medical practitioners for the last 70 years. So if, if, if uh, uh, a supplement is listed there, uh, it is actually something that medical, health, medical and healthcare workers will actually recommend. Okay. This is also the number one weight management and well-being brand in Singapore for three consecutive years as certified by Euromonitor International. Okay. The supplements, uh, very briefly, uh, these are the supplements and I'll go through the ingredients, not that you need to remember them. You only need to know what they do and that is this first one, right, actually resets uh, your body's balance and targets metabolism, lean muscle and appetite control. You also need to know that these are food extracts, saffron, pomegranate, red orange, prickly pear, so these are natural. Yeah, we don't do banned substances, we don't do chemicals, we don't do drugs, right? Uh, especially those that, you know, work on the brain to suppress appetite, that sort of thing, no. So this one uh, uh, controls your appetite, reduces food cravings, supports a positive mood and mindset for enhanced willpower. Again, natural food extracts here. And the complex gets your healthy metabolism back on track, maintains your incredible lean muscle, uh, and you see a lot of repeat things like green tea, right? Uh, and capsicum, which really, really helps you to burn fat. This is the world's first genetic body shaping system that will help you to transform in 90 days. And it's a, and the supplements actually, uh, like I said, is based on epigenetics. So we use um, this proprietary science to screen through a lot, a lot of ingredients out there to find the right ones that will reset your genes to the younger state. So that your metabolism becomes that of your younger self. You know, your fat burning capability reverts to that of your younger self. And that is why James, his body can revert to looking younger. Okay. So, um, body composition is measurable. You'll be measured and you will see a reduction in body fat percentage. That's what you should see, right? And arms, waist, hips. Uh, you know, your thighs, you will see a reduction in CMs. 85% uh, notice the body silhouette actually looks better and 98% say their clothes fit better. Yeah, <laughs> just whisk through some more pictures of people who have lost massive weight through the program. 42 kg, imagine. Yeah, and even someone who is a golfer, national golfer, cannot lose weight, come on the program, uh, can lose about 11 kg, yeah, this is Cal. This is a proven genetic based system and we'll give you a eating plan that I alluded to just now very briefly. A coach will uh, actually help you uh, to, you know, customize this to suit, suit your lifestyle. Okay. And of course, we will put you into a Facebook group. Uh, and if not, if not, if you're not into Facebook, then you will be on WhatsApp with your coach one-to-one. Uh, -one. Okay, this will be a very personalized program for 12 weeks. How much is this worth? Well, the system is $3,029. Uh, the scan is, we will we we'll recommend that you get the machine so that you can do monitoring. That's 219 The eating plan is 500 Lifetime good support, we price it at 960 but honestly, it's priceless. One-to-one -one personal coaching for 12 weeks. So the total is 5596 5596 right? If all this did was to help to give you the flat tummy that you always dreamed of, would, would it be worth your while, you think? And 
for some of us, it, it will help to remove or reduce, you know, all kinds of medicine, you know, high blood pressure, cholesterol, yeah, diabetes maybe, would it be worth the while? Yeah, and if all this did was reduce the dress sizes by two notches, would it be worth the while? And if all this did was actually uh, help your whole family actually also eat more healthily, uh, would it be worth the while? So we really, really uh, want to give you a good offer. Uh, we will help you to buy the TR90 system at wholesale price, of course, 2120. The Karada scan is also a special price at 150. And of course, we want to offer the rest to you completely free. Yeah, but yes, we'll give you all that because that increases your chances of uh, getting uh, to the goal, to the weight loss goal that you want. And so the investment is 2270. Uh, sorry, this is the wrong offer I'm putting. Okay, there is a good offer now. If you buy the 2270 package, you will be, uh, there will be a cleansing device called the Lumi Spa, our best seller, given to you absolutely free, and that device is worth $219. On this program, you can expect to see progress every 7 days and total transformation in 90 days. And you can use major credit cards to pay by installments either 6 or 12 months interest free okay lastly <laughs> i know it's already march but still it is the first quarter of the year so do something today that your future self will thank you for yeah especially you know 10 years later you not know, all people like sue just now remember that lady with the osteoarthritis while wow, she's looking back at like what four years before and just going like thank god i started this okay so yes do something today that your future self will thank you for so with that uh, thank you everyone thank you for listening